Scorpio. This is all about you. Scorpio, this is your oracle and tarot card reading for the week ahead from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. We'll do your oracle card spread here on YouTube, and then we do a full uh, tarot and romance reading. The link is below. All right, Scorpio. This is the energy that's coming towards you. This is for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising, or anywhere in your chart where Scorpio has an influence, you could apply these energies for the next seven days. And the messages are pouring out. Scorpio, 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 sun, moon, rising, Scorpio. I wonder if there hasn't been an incident, a confrontation of sorts, some sort of confrontation, some sort of showdown, something coming out, something finally being confronted, somebody fi coming to you and saying, <sighs> admitting something, finally, finally being honest or truthful to you about a circumstance or a situation that you had shown concern with finally um, agreeing to a request that you made agreeing or acknowledging that you were correct in an assessment that you made admitting to something that they had otherwise denied there is a sense of some sort of um, validation toward your insights or your, even your accusations that had been denied in some way. A truth coming out and it had to do with a person, the person that the circumstance had to do with. Clear out the clutter, but it's in reverse. You can be dealing with a Cancerian. This would be a, a low vibrating Cancerian who is still holding on desperately to something that they don't want to let go of. Perhaps that something is you. It doesn't have to be a Cancer person, but this is a this is um this is the energy of still being tremendously burdened by something that will not let you set you free, will not let you go. Um, or somebody not wanting to let you go, somebody that doesn't, isn't over you, somebody who can't stop thinking about you and is doing everything they can to hold on. And I feel like it's a, it's an emotional holding on. It's a, a manipulation of the heart, not necessarily the mind or even the reputation, but the, a manipulation of the heart, um, playing on your sense of loyalty or obligation to make you behave in a way that they are comfortable with because they, are not, they can't let go. Now, somebody is only in this position when they know that they have to let go only in the position when they this position when they know they're about to get dumped so this could also be you this week scorpio the energies can be reversed it could go either way it could be the energy of wanting so badly to not confront something to not see or feel or admit that you make the decision instead to hide or deny to guilt trip um, this could be done, done to, like I said, done to you. You could be experiencing somebody doing this to you or, or hopefully not, but, or you could be doing it to somebody just almost in a sense, in a state of personal denial so that you're in a sort of fantasy world, dream world, even in your waking world, you, this person, or this is a mentality of not wanting to confront not want denying in being in denial completely and totally being in denial um and i have a feeling it's maybe because like the channeled message you have confronted something or you have brought something to them 
and they did not want to face it. This is a sentiment of some sort of intervention or accusation, like I said, that they should have come out and acknowledged, but their mentality at the top of this week, at least, the energy of them is still being very much in denial and, and holding on to the past, um, in a, um, much to their own detriment. Um, this is the energy of holding on to a past much to your own detriment. So whether it's you or somebody else, it is a sense of a sort of sad sickness that they don't want to let go of, an obsession of sorts. Maybe somebody is just not willing to set you free or to admit and acknowledge that what you have accused them of or what you have confronted them with is in fact the truth they're in denial they are denying 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 scorpios if you are on a platform that allows for commercials i'm going to slide one in here and i'll be back to you in about 30 seconds okay thank you so much for for sitting through that commercial but let's move on with the reading there is a harsh sense of wow all are all of these cards in reverse all of these cards are in reverse. Wow. Trust in the magic. This is once again delusion, being delusional. Be fearless and bold, being completely weak and submissive, being clinging, um, being afraid, hiding, hiding in delusions. This could have to do with drug and alcohol abuse. Um, being lost, lost in illusions, lost in delusions, lost in a haze, some sort of medicated haze. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom. This is disloyalty. This could be, um, this could be someone turning on you and making sure that maybe trying to make you look ugly or, you know, bite the hand that feeds it or attacking you physically coming after you in some way, um, because they are desperate and afraid uh, this energy of literally somebody betraying you somebody betraying you uh, somebody that was very very close to you who meant a lot to you somebody making you uh, but understand where this person is coming from this is a sense of complete and total denial and delusion and um them clinging on to something that they feel they desperately need. So this could be a potential violence or an attempt of potential violence against you because of a, a compromised state, a compromised psyche, psychological state. Um, yeah, this is heavy, could be heavy drug use. It could be just um, heavy mental illness. This is a, a state of somebody... Um, teetering on the edge of, of any kind of mental stability, overcome any obstacle, somebody's absolutely stuck, which is the same mentality here. This is somebody being an obstacle to their own progress, to their own ability to move forward. Somebody turned upside down and unable to move forward because of the way that they look at the world, because of the way that they see things, because, because of not wanting to see things upright or see things straight. Not, and basically, basically throwing yourself on your back and throwing your feet in the air and saying, I'm not moving, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. This is an impediment as well. It's a sense of something that it's something that a feeling that I can't overcome this or I, I am trying to do everything to escape overcoming it because I know that it's there and it's the last thing that I want to think about. Lay a solid foundation. This circumstance, this situation was never strong. It was never something that was good. This is Virgo energy in reverse, which means it's controlling. It's, it's, um, it's tedious. It's, it's facetious, it's, it's um, over analytical, rips everything apart with its own analysis. It's too, it's too introspective. 
it almost dissects things, it's dissecting. So that's why it's tearing everything apart. There's a feeling of being so dissected and having somebody look at you so closely that they're ripping you apart. Every piece of you, probably because they're very bitter and angry and they want to get at you and hurt you or harm you. Like I said, this is more emotional hurt and harm than it is actual striking out, though it could be somebody throwing a glass at you, somebody throwing a punch at you. It could be somebody throwing accusations at you or at least casting doubt onto your character because they are angry that you bought something to their attention. Oh God, Scorpio, this is, this is like just the, just the, the haunting of your heart this week. That's what this is. It's, it's a sort of unraveling of any kind of foundation. But I have to say, this is truth revealed. This is a, a revelation as well to you because maybe just maybe you were trying to in some way um, avoid, avoid the confrontation or avoid accepting that this was not something that was good for you, that this was something that was actually always unraveling you little by little. It could have been thread by thread and in some ways you could have enjoyed it for a while. But this, in other words, it, it was a castle always built on sand. And no matter how interesting or intriguing that was, there was always pain because um, the sand pebbles kept getting in your eyes as they fell from the ceiling that was always cracking. So there was always some sort of reminder, some sort of pain, some sort of tears reminding you that this was a house built on sand, this castle built on sand, maybe the sand castle that was never meant to last as long as you or they tried to keep it together. But there is a definite sense of it now this week falling apart and brutally falling apart in some sort of way that is undeniable. The miracles are endless. This is turned upside down. So I think that this is a blessing in disguise, but it's not obvious right now. Um, for the next week out, it would be tremendously hurtful. It would be tremendously disappointing or challenging. Um, but this is a blessing in disguise. Uh, the miracles are endless is not a card that comes up unless there is a miracle breaking through. But it is, there is a sense of delivery straight from the gods, but this is upside down as well. This is earth energy, all this earth energy completely and totally in reverse, which means instability this week, a sense of things shifting and changing and rocking under your feet so that you don't know where you stand. As if somebody is picking up the house and moving with you in it and you're just trying to keep some sort of stability. This is a sense of loss of stability, loss of what you believed to be something solid or a confrontation of, of a, a situation or a circumstance, an issue, a group of people or a person about their stability. Like I said, and I said this, some sort of intervention of sorts that really makes somebody confront an issue they don't feel like confronting or talking about, but set healthy boundaries is here. This is breaking down all boundaries. This is having somebody overstep boundaries or stepping over boundaries that were established that were not healthy. This is breaking down all walls and all barriers because the boundaries were there to protect a sin, an addiction, something bad, something unhealthy, a sickness, as opposed to... Um, to, to protect you and, and be healthy, to support a healthy lifestyle. No, these are boundaries, these are walls that are either flimsy and let everything through or walls that were never established. That they were lines drawn in the sand and they were easily washed away by a new emotion, which is the water coming and washing it away. Um, this is a sense of, or a boundary that was so thick and so hot, it was like a great wall of China. There's no way that anything could pass. And so something on one side, died. Ooh. Um, embrace the in-between. This is a uh, Libra energy, which is also speaking of upside down. It is imbalanced. 
there is a total lack of balance. But the wonderful thing about this is you're no longer embracing the in-between. You don't care if things are in balance because in order to keep them in balance, you actually had to keep them unhealthy. This is about re-breaking a bone so that you don't have to limp anymore, so that it finally gets a chance to heal correctly. This is about bringing on the hurt so that you can get to the healing. Um, like I said, the word intervention keeps coming up. Learn from the past elephant. This is essentially making the same mistakes over and over again. A, re a, a repeat of the same tragic cycle that is hurting you. Something karmic, a karmic energy, a karmic lesson that has not been learned. It could be a karmic relationship that is now finally um, coming to an end. Now maybe somebody has come to you and you're in total wreck or denial because they, you don't want to give them up and you don't want to break up and you don't want to lose them. And But what is or what are you holding on to? You're holding on to a delusion. You're holding on to something that is not real. You're holding on to something for reasons of low self-esteem, not because you actually believe that it's a good thing. I think on some level, you or this other person knows it's not a good thing and they won't let you go. It's like I said, the... the the energies here can be switched, but it's like this person, this energy will not let you go. And it's karmic. It's karmic. It's almost like it's obvious. It's right in that. It's right in their face. It's very clear. The truth has come out. There has been something that has been bought up and, and leveled out, but there is a resistance, a hard resistance to it. And yet here we are not embracing the balance, deciding to remain imbalanced because we're, we're comfortable that way. Ooh, shit, I tell you, love is all around. This is manipulation. This is bad love. This is sick love. This is addiction. This is obsession. This is not love. This is somebody either spewing hate at you one second and then trying to love you the next because they're unhealthy and they're sick. This is your voice or your song being squeltered and squashed or um, made to, to be disharm uh, disharmony. Um, yeah, a lack of harmony, just everything being thrown off. There's a dissonance to this circumstance or situation, Scorpio, that you are literally stuck in the middle of this week. Um, and I don't, let me, I'm trying to see how you're going to react to it, but all of this came out and it was all upside down. Be playful. They're not, there's nowhere. This is heavy, heavy energy. Like I said, this is being stuck on your back with your feet flailing in the air. This is almost screaming for help. Somebody is crying out for help. Help me, help me. I've fallen and I can't get up. Somebody is crying for help. But then when you go to help them, they're insisting, I'm not even falling. What are you doing? Get away from me. Co-create with spirit. This is a total detachment from spirit. This feels to me like drug and alcohol addiction. Um, but it could be just it could be just plain obsession, or it could be just plain pride and greed. Whatever it is, it's one of those things that disconnects you from spirit totally. It cuts you off from who you really are. It cuts you off from your soul. It cuts you off from hearing, from praying, from hoping. This is a very desperate, hurting energy. Think on your feet. It's almost like you've stalled. There's no ideas and there's no energy left. There's nothing left. This is Sagittarius season gone wrong. This is a sense of so much chaos coming at you in Sagittarius season or in the opening of Sagittarius season that you could be actually dealing with a Sagittarius too of just um, somebody who won't let up, who constantly insists on being correct, even though it's so obvious that they're not. This energy of somebody who just has so much pride, they're willing to basically throw up everything at you or, or throw away everything so that they can hold on to this sense of false truth, lies that they've accepted in themselves, being stuck once again, not being able to get out of it. But out of this whole reading, there is one card that is right side up. And the deck was not upside down. The deck is all right side up. So all these cards fell the way that they were meant to fall, Scorpio. Let spirit be your guide. 
This is hawk. This is go back to nature. This is take an objective perspective, have a higher point of view. This is uh, implying to me that you are not the one that's been dis disconnected from spirit, but this is a person in your life that's completely disconnected from spirit. And I think really ripping your heart apart. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to have to say, as crazy as it sounds, pray. In other words, ask for help outside of yourself. Whether it's prayer or whether it's actually going to get help. A police officer, an interventionist, a doctor, a nurse, something. There's some kind of energy or objective point of view that you're being called to ask for. In fact, you're being begged to ask for it this week because in other words, Scorpio, as much as you don't want to admit it, you are up against something that's too much for you to handle. And you need help. You need help. Three plus two is five. There is a serious change that has to happen. And the change has to be you. Because what I fear is that if you keep trying to handle this yourself, they're just going to dig you further and further down with them. That's probably a cycle that you've always chosen. You've always chosen to try to handle it yourself, to try to do it yourself. We'll fix this. We'll fix this. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. That is, that is part of the karmic cycle. And it's just going to drag you down even deeper and exacerbate this energy. You don't want to exacerbate the energy. The call here is let go and let God or call in and admit this time finally that you need some help because you are drowning or somebody is grabbing you down. They're drowning and they won't let you go. You're trying to swim to shore and they won't let you go. So you need to cry out for help as loud and strong as you possibly can. Hold on, I wanna turn this, I wanna turn this camera around, hold on. First of all, Scorpio, this is a huge spread. The fact that it all came out for you is insane. And I think the channeled message is the energy of you. What you hoped would happen, what you hoped, you would hope that this person would come to their senses. They would come to you and they would admit they need to let go. They need, they, they, they need to, um, that they would that they would see what you saw and they would be ready to let go too. This is totally backfired. This week is all about them fighting, holding, desperately clinging on, denying, 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 lying, 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 even attacking you in any way that they can. All of this energy, in other words, it is backwards. It's the exact opposite of what you hoped would happen. You really, really need support now. You do more than ever. So Scorpio, please call in that higher power, call in that message, that spirit messenger, but not only prayer, please absolutely pray, but also Scorpio, just call in, call in your friends, call in an expert, call in, um, yeah, call in somebody who knows how to deal with this circumstance or situation. You are not in this alone, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of times you feel so lost in yourself. You feel like you're, you're isolated and there's no one around that can understand you or help you. That is not true, Scorpio. And lots of times because of that mentality, you end up trying to handle things yourself that, that end up dragging you down and hurting you too. And you wonder why there's so often so much pain in your life. You cannot keep jumping in after people and expect to keep your head above water. These are like, you remember that scene from Harry Potter, one of the, like, I think movie six, where those dead things, like Dumbledore just drank all that horrible potion um, to kill the first, uh, uh, what is it, the locket, get the first, the locket um, horcrux, and all those dead things come up and grab Harry, like drag them down. This is you. This is you being dragged down by all those dead things because you can't, you just can't yell out for help. So as much as this is an energy that's probably, hopefully, hope to God outside of you, this week, it's still also kind of reflected inside of you because you're holding on to the idea that you could handle this by yourself and you can't call for help, ask for help. I mean, real help, real help, like an interventionist or um, a police officer, whoever it is, an authority, somebody who will be protective, somebody who will take care of you and care about you. Um, this is at the, at the very start of the week, believing that there is help out there for you. 
that somebody will come and help you. But you have to scream. You have to screech. You have to let them know. Because if not, it's almost like you're being attacked. Let's see what else happens and what comes of this situation. We'll, we'll go a little bit deeper into what exactly the situation is over in the tarot energy. And I'll do your romance reading as well. Scorpio, oh my God, I love you. Hold on. I'll see you guys over there.